Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to go ahead and get ready for the new school year by setting up my planner and my big size happy notes that I like having as like a planner companion and I'll show you guys that after I set up my planner. So with that said, the first thing I want to do is change up my desk. I'm not a fan of this color um, and I also love like I prefer metal discs just because uh, pages do turn easier and I just think they look prettier. So I do have, I did have three colors, but I did do a poll on Instagram for what color people recommended and gold metal disc won the poll. And so I'm going to save these black ones for my happy notes. Sorry, that's probably like super loud. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the cover first and place that on the disc. I'll probably be speeding up this step because it can take a little bit. Um, and it's pretty self-explanatory. So I try to be very careful when I'm removing these just because I keep my covers even after the year's over. I have a collection of covers just because I love changing them up um, depending on my mood, depending on the season. And so I do try to um, take care of my covers. And this is just the gooey stuff that attaches that um, paper thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. So let's go ahead no fist and if you are new to my channel um i love changing up the look of my planner um some people don't see the point in it but a i love giving my planner a fresh up or you know like seasonally um change it up and so you'll probably see that throughout the year with this planner as well I love this cover just for the beginning of the school year, um, but probably for like maybe the holidays or whatever. I might want to change it out, maybe put some red metal discs or something like that, make it a little more seasonal. So I am only going to keep, I think, half of the year. So let's go ahead and I'm going to start from the back. First with the checklist. I have not decided if I want to keep my grades in my classic planner or in my big size um, happy notes. I do have both, so I'm going to place it, I'm going to set it up in both and then decide. Um, I've changed it up pretty much every year, and of course last year was not normal and the year before was not normal either, and so depending on how this year feels or looks like, I'll decide then. So we're gonna go ahead and go to December. So already for me, it's a huge difference having gold metal disc. I love it. Um, and I ended up leaving out 
June and July because I don't use it. And I know at the beginning I said I was going to keep six months in, but it felt pretty empty. And so why not fill it up? Okay. So the next thing is that I like keeping my planner in one of these um, like folders. No, what are they called? I can't think about it. <laughs> like I can't think of the name. Um, last year I used this one, um, and this is this was a folio, and I liked it, but I want to change it up this year, and I want to use this one instead. So this is just black and I like the lines. It's just pretty neutral. So let's go ahead and place my planner in here. I do have to still clean it a little bit because the cover's a little dirty with that gooey stuff. So we're gonna place this in here. And then I'm gonna add a couple of things to it. So the first thing is these stickers and I did order some more from different shops. Um, I like keeping some of these reminder. This was obviously from last year. I don't know if we'll have any Zoom meetings, um, but I can use the call and the email, and I'm not really sure why I have break time, but I have some of these, and I ordered some more. Um, I'll share with y'all maybe in another video, maybe in like my monthly setup um, once they arrive. So we're going to add those in here. I also have some sticky notes that I want to use. And these are a little bit different. I will be adding some Happy Planner. The little sticky notes, I like having that for my monthlies. But I do have some from cloth and paper that I want to add. So, these circle ones, I want to add actually here. So, I'm going to add a couple of these. And these are transparent and so I'll be using a white gel pen and these are on paper so I can use whatever color oh look at that it goes perfect with this and then some of these memos and we're gonna add those right here And I also have some of these flags, page flags. And I'm actually gonna just keep this entire thing in here. I like this to mark, obviously important dates, but like when I need to leave an open date open, an open date up. When I need to like go to my monthly and just quickly like note, there's something here, but, it, you know, things are always changing. So I like writing uh, what's happening on here. And then I can move that sticky note around that page flag. Um, yeah, I don't know why I explained that so much because I'm sure that it is very self-explanatory. But I think we'll just go ahead and add them to here. Okay, so we got those. Then, let me see what I have in here that I wanna keep. Oh, my favorite pen. I might add some of these, I'm not sure. Did I take everything out of here? Oh, look at this. I did not, so let me remove. Okay, so this photo is gonna take a break. Might bring it back later, who knows. So my pen, I like, um, this is like my newest favorite pen, is a Sarasa Zebra, and I ordered a bunch on Amazon. And I do have my Amazon uh, like link down below. So if you want to check out any of the things that I get from Amazon, go there. And I have a bunch of random stuff here. So we might add this back up. 
So what did I have here? I have, ooh, I love these guys. So these are the mini, what do I call them? Like the mini notebooks. Um, right, that's what, micro, micro notes. There you go, that's what they're called. And I still have some left. I have a whole like stack of them that I love keeping because um, they're just so easy to move around. And I usually will write down my um, my duty schedule on there. I have some freebies and some stickers from some shops. Oh, some teacher stickers that I never used last year. So we're gonna just put those back in here. And then paper clips, which are always super nice to have. So I am gonna keep this in my planner. And I just like having some of these with a couple more. And put this back in here. Just put that there for now. And then, don't remember where I got that from. I was like keeping some of these. Um, started collecting <laughs> these die cuts that they used to give us. And of course, coffee. So sometimes I like grabbing a paper clip and clipping one of these just for some cute stuff. I could remove it and place it there. But, I don't know, that scares me a little bit. So let's just grab another paper clip and place that there. Okay, and I don't think I need any of these. Okay, so what else? Let me look at, I have my planner from last year out as well so I could uh, use it as reference. Something that I don't have yet is the um, my schedule. And I was trying to think if it is changing so I'm not gonna place this one in. I just printed it on classic size paper. And then my calendar. So those, those are two things that I'm waiting for. And as soon as they print it or send it out, I'll print it and add it to the front of my planner. What do I have here? Some notes that I don't think I need. No, this is last year's stuff that I don't need. And then I had a folder, but I don't think I need a folder this year. <clears throat> Let's add this book divider. I'm just gonna add it to my monthly because that's the first thing I need to plan in here. And she'll do it real soon. Probably next week, right? Yeah, because I don't have that much time left. Okay, so, oh, last thing. I wanted to add this guy. Um, just right here for now. You know, sometimes they give us like little papers that I wanna like uh, keep somewhere in the front so I can keep track of. Okay, so let's move on to the, the Big Happy Notes. Okay, before I get into setting up my Big Happy Notes, I did wanna show you real quick a couple of things that I do have in here that um, to be able to set up my new notebook, I'm going to have to wait till I get back in the building um, to, to get those copies. So the first thing that I keep at the beginning of my planner is my um, sheet sheet, my accommodation sheet sheet for uh, 504s, IPs, all accommodations. And so you can probably get so many different type of these guys um, on, online on Google. This, this is just the one that I use. And I can edit the top stuff and obviously add the check marks. And then I add the students' names right here. 
in that way I can have all of it in one paper. Um, last year I didn't have that many, but in years past I'll have like multiple copies of this um, just because we kept getting students and I was able to keep adding them in as, as we went. So as you can see, this one I just needed that one sheet. On the back of here, I do keep a roster um, of all of my classes. I do teach seventh grade, so um, I have one, five periods, right? Five and a half, because we have an extra class um, of 30 minutes. So I keep that in there. And then I have my student notes right here from when we meet as a team. So of course I can't show that. So let's go ahead and skip to the next part. Then I have my um, standards, which we'll be changing this year. But I think for now we will add these ones. And because the reason why I use a big size happy note is because this is the, um, the normal printer paper size. And so I can print out things just regular like normal and be able to punch it and then place it in here and have everything in one place so having my standards for me is a must on paper like being able to write notes highlight um and so one of the reasons why i have this and then here i have just a bunch of handouts um that i like keeping that extra copy of in here which of course, with the new standards, this will be changing up a little bit, but I think that I will be adding these guys into my setup right now. And then this is my second class that I teach. And then I have, what is this stuff? Okay. So I have some student notes as well that I need to dispose of. And then I did have uh, more of this grading stuff that I will be adding to this new setup because like I said, I'm not sure if I wanna keep that in here or in my planner. So I have this happy notes um, and you don't need to get a whole new anything for this. If you have a big size planner, which I did two years ago, then you can just add this to your planner which is pretty cool because everything's in one place now it's it's gonna get a little heavy so if you don't mind it being pretty chunky if you leave it on your desk all the time then that's not an issue um but i carry my planner everywhere so i like having it separate um also as you notice last year i actually had a old planner cover and i took old um dividers and i just used that this year, I did get um, this one, and I really like it, so I'm going to use this Happy Notes for that. Now, I am going to place it on those classic size discs um, because this does get pretty chunky for me, and right now, it's just a mini disc. So I will speed up the process um, and go ahead and just transfer all of that to these discs. paper on the back and I might remove some of this paper because it is a lot um, and I did take this stuff out because I wanted to show you that you can get all kinds of big size paper or classic size um, but if you end up like getting a cover that you've used in the past or an extra cover that you have uh, laying around and take a couple dividers you can just add the paper that you want 
and you can also add some of the um the grading papers so i do have some more of that um but a big happy notes does have a lot of paper so i don't think I'll, i'm gonna be adding any i think that i'm actually gonna remove some so right now this only has three dividers so let's see um my first one i know that is going to be for those important student notes so i'm just gonna leave that blank because obviously right now i don't have any my second section is my standards i'll place those in there and what i want to be a little more organized this year so my plans is to probably print out another copy of the standards um, single page and then add paper to kind of break them down or like brainstorm ideas for each of the standards as I'm sitting in my PLC. So that's part of the plan there. And then, so see right now I ran out Of dividers so what I'm going to do is use bookmarks and you could use classic size bookmarks but I do have some big ones that I'm planning on using and these guys I think I'm gonna use these two with this planner they do have a clear protector Just so you would know. But I'll remove it another time. I don't want to spend time on that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I want to use one to divide. What standard I'm on. So obviously we're going to start at the beginning. So as I go through the standards. Because I like placing them here in order. As I go through, I'm going to bookmark. And then what I was trying to decide is if I want to use, I think I'm going to use this over here instead. So this is going to be for like the extra paper. And then here, I'm going to add my handouts. And again, these are going to be changing because we are changing what we're teaching. But for now, I'm just going to place them all in here. Oops, sorry. And I think I've decided that I'm not going to add my enrichment class. I think I'm going to keep just my science class. Just because I do want to change up how I'm teaching enrichment this year and make it more of a PBL. So it is going to look different. And I don't think I'm going to be using handouts for that class. Okay, can I fit all of this? So see, as you can see already, this is getting pretty chunky. So it would not have fit in the tiny disc, the mini disc. So I am going to remove right now some of this paper because this is way too much. And then I think more. Yeah, this is a lot of paper. And of course, I add to it as the year goes along, but I don't need to have all of this. But I will probably be taking this paper to school though and just leaving it there because this is something that does not come back, does not come back to uh, with me. My planner will at the end of the week. I mean, like I'm uh, bringing it home so I can plan the next week, but not this guy. Okay, so we're gonna keep this here. And then the last thing that I want to add to this planner is 
a shit list from last year that I did not use from here. And they call it checklist, but for me, I use it for grading. Okay, so let's see what we have so far. Some of that gooey stuff as well. Okay, so I have my three sections. My first section is for my student information. So I will have that accommodation sheet sheet and I like keeping a roster and then any student notes that I take during teacher parent conferences or during my um, team conferences. Our second section is my standards. And then the last one is going to be the handout that I do need to revamp for what I'm actually teaching this year. And then I have extra paper and I keep the paper at the end, but obviously as I have meetings, I add paper depending of if I'm having a meeting about one of these standards or if I'm having a meeting about students and that goes in here. So I'm actually just gonna grab a couple of sheets and place it in the front um, to have that ready to go. And I removed it. There is still, I feel like, too much paper in the back. So I might be taking some off. Okay, so let's go ahead and look back at my planner setup. This is ready to go. And then let's just keep that here. This is stuff that I need to shred, so I do need to take that back to school and shred that information. And then, okay, so here we go. Uh, love having these two guys. My t-shirt planner. And like I said, I'm gonna be adding some more stickers that I bought from some shops. Um, and I'll be sharing those. I'll try to share them and my next plan with me in this video, but if not, um, make sure you follow me on Instagram. That's where I share like all the happy mail that I receive. And if you have any recommendations for like t-shirt stickers, um, please let me know down in the comment box just because I've been really into supporting small businesses and I love uh, just simple like, and of course I love t-shirt related stickers, you know, that I love that. So I'm just gonna leave that there. I have some stickers from Pear Deck, but they're falling off, but I don't really care. Okay, and so starting up, we have some sticky notes. Um, let's see how these goes, having them here. I usually have them um, in one of these guys that I could add, um, but I just found these too small, so I wanted to try out some bigger sticker sticky notes. And then this, where I have all that random stuff I showed you. I'll have to, um, I do have some name decals that I'm gonna place here to just label my planner. I do not use this for substitute because this is like my personal planner, but I could, I'm gonna figure out how to repurpose this sheet. These two boxes are good. This is good, obviously. I can just cover that with a sticker. Um, we don't have Reese's but I could use the other things. Maybe I can do like my two planning times. Yeah, I think that would be perfect. Um, but I'm gonna wait for the schedule before I do that. I use this for important dates, um, but I'm also, I think I'm gonna use it to keep track of my units because I wanna um, make sure that I'm um, spending enough time in each of the units. So maybe two uh, as a year at a glance, which is what it's called. Okay, and then, don't really use this sheet that much. Um, monthly, definitely, definitely. And yeah, that is all guys. My planner will continue evolving. So any updates, anything that I change, I'll make sure to share with you guys. So make sure you stay tuned for all the future videos, and especially um, my t-shirt plan with me. I cannot wait to get back into uh, creating spreads in my t-shirt planner. I really, really love doing that. 
And so can't wait for school to start so I can do that. Um, any questions that you guys have or anything that you want me to share with you, please let me know in the comment box. Anything you're curious to see how I do it or anything I can help you with. Um, I'm super excited to go into my fifth year of teaching middle school and um, my second year in no, my third year in seventh grade. Oh my God. Cannot believe how quick um, time has gone by. So yeah, so make sure you stay tuned for other videos. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for those future videos. And I will see you guys on the next one.